Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's grade seven, unit five, lesson two, practice problems review. And question one, A, the temperature is negative two degrees Celsius. If the temperature rises by 15 degrees Celsius, what is the new temperature? So we're sitting at negative two degrees. We're adding 15 degrees to this and we're trying to figure out what that new temperature would be. Well, if you had a number line, You'd be at zero, you'd go back to negative two. Now you're getting 15 bigger. Well, two bigger takes you to zero. That leaves another 13 left over. And so that's going to be 13 degrees here. At midnight, the temperature is negative six degrees Celsius. At midday, the temperature is nine degrees Celsius. By how much did the temperature rise? We're basically asking ourselves negative six, plus what is going to be equal to 9. Again, if we start off with a number line here, we're at 0, and we're going down to negative 6, and now we're going to go up to 9. Well, I know that the first part of that from negative 6 to 0 is going to be 6, and from 0 to 9 is going to be 9, and if I add 6 with 9, that's a total of a 15 degree increase. So the solution to our first question was 13 degrees for the new temperature. And the second part of the question was 15 degree increase. Question two, draw a diagram to represent each of these situations and then write an addition expression that represents the final temperature. The temperature was 80 degrees Fahrenheit and then fell 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Start off with our number line. We'll start at zero and go up to 80. We're falling 20 degrees. Help me, I'm falling. It's going to leave us at 60 degrees. And so 80 plus negative 20. Question two or to be, or not to be, no, to be. The temperature was negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit and the row is nine degrees Fahrenheit. Well, in this case, we're going down to negative 13 degrees. And if we're increasing, rising by nine, that's going to put us now at negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. So we're at negative 4 here, which I think I counted right here. Count that again for us just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is going to put that right there. And so our answer here is negative 13 plus 9 is the addition expression. Lastly, now the temperature was negative 5 degrees, then fell 8 degrees. Well, we're at 0. We're going down to negative 5. And then we're falling 8 degrees. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that'd be negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10, negative 11, negative 12, negative 13. And our expression would be negative five plus negative eight. Question three, complete each statement with a number that makes this statement true. It's a review from our first lesson of the unit. Well, what number can be smaller than seven degrees? Well, how about zero? degrees Celsius, I suppose. What number is smaller than negative three degrees Celsius? Basically, well, negative four degrees Celsius is smaller. Now in C, we're looking for a number that's in between negative eight tenths of a degree and negative one tenth of a degree. Well, how about negative one half of a degree Celsius? It puts you in between. And something that's bigger than negative two degrees Celsius could be zero degrees Celsius. It's definitely greater than negative two or any positive.
of temperature, really. Decide whether each table could represent in question four a proportional relationship. If the relationship could be proportional, what would be the constant of proportionality? This is a review question. Wow. All right. Five buses, number of wheels, 30. Wheels per bus, the wheels on the bus go divide by 30, divided by 5 equals 6. So does 48 divided by 8. That is 6 as well. Take the wheels that are 60 there. Divide by 10, because that's the number of buses. 60 divided by 10 is the number 6. Here we go. 90 divided by 15 is also 6. So that is proportional. And our constant of proportionality would be the number 6. Next, the number of wheels on a train. Well, wheels per train car, if we took 184 and divided by 20 wheels per car, we would get 9 and 2 tenths, which seems kind of strange to begin with. But then we take 264 and divide by 30, and we're going to end up with 8 and 8 tenths. So... It's, it's not proportional here. Once we look at the difference again, the wheels per bus stayed the same. It was a constant six. Whereas the number of wheels on the train, we could tell just from doing the first two, um, was not constant. And if you finished the question, 344 divided by 40 is eight and six tenths. And 424 divided by 50 is actually 8 and 4,800. So it's definitely not going to be the same. Now, as we get to our last question of the lesson and the homework practice problems review, Noah was assigned to make 64 cookies for the bake sale. He made 125% of that number. 90% of the cookies were sold. How many of Noah's cookies were left after the bake sale? Let's first figure out how much he made. He made 125% of 64 looking for 64 times 125 percent which we can represent by the decimal one and 25 hundredths and when we take 64 and multiply by, by one and 25 hundredths we get 80 cookies then 90 percent of the cookies he made were sold how many were left well if 90 percent were sold that would mean 10 percent were left and if i take my 80 cookies and multiply it by 10%, we're going to get eight cookies left. And that is it for this grade seven, unit five, lesson two practice, problems review. Good luck.